Through our engineering services group, we've been involved in developing and deploying HMI or human machine interface visualization systems in substations around the world. And what we recognized was that many customers needed a very simple and straightforward portable HMI system for the substation. Recently, we released a brand new web-based HMI capability for the RTAC along with the configuration software to design the visualization screens called Diagram Builder. And this is a really beautiful and simple solution because all of the screens are hosted directly from the web server on the actual RTAC in the substation. It's a web-based HMI uh, which allows an end user to quickly grab points, define those points onto a screen, and present those in a, in a quick and easy manner for anything from a small substation up to where maybe an operator wants to see alarms or status symbols from the individual relays. From an HMI standpoint, SEL has really taken advantage of what the Axion and the RTAG can supply to a user. Tags that are created in a project for either the Axion or the RTAG are all available to the HMI. And what that means to an end user is they can import those tags, quickly drag and drop those onto a screen, and then automatically be able to view those through the web browser um, as they load those projects up. And in our opinion, this allows for less mistakes with regards to mapping between what's going between the relay and the communication product all the way up to what's visually displayed to the end user or to the operator. The tags that are available in the HMI aren't just the ones that are coming from the relay. Any tag that's created within the RTAC or the Axion's project are available to the HMI. That includes anything from these high-end controllers uh, all the way down to their own special logic or their own special virtual tags that are needed uh, to create their own custom HMI screens. One of the nice advantages of the, the HMI solutions, it is web-based. And so that means a, a user can basically become a thin client with anything from a laptop to a desktop and so this really takes away the requirement from a, from a customer's point of view of having to install or keep up to date with, with various types of applications on their PC. And, and the visualization side is all presented through the user through the web browser. The other thing that we've done in the design of our web-based HMI is really target it to our power system customers. What that means is when you go into the Diagram Builder software, you're going to see a number of pre-designed controls specifically for power system apparatus like transformers and breakers. They're already there in your tool palette. You simply drag and drop them onto the screen and they already have the parameters you would expect for the visualization and operation of your power system apparatus. So in general, from an automation standpoint, we're going beyond just those individual settings. We take that device manager and integrate it with team, as well as the HMI solutions that sit on top of the RTAC and, and really try to combine a, a total solution for the end user.